What up, everybody? I just had the most epic day, as you can tell, I'm covered in paint. And I'm here in South Central in Los Angeles, met up with my man Liba, and we painted a dope mural for a church here in South Central. Check it out. So, I'm in LA. I'm driving to like the craziest industrial area ever and I'm just like wondering where the heck Liba's house is. So we pull up and there's like this old storefront, this old warehouse. It just looks like it's abandoned, it's not inhabited at all. So that said six, he's in seven. I'm just like, well this is the address, so oh, this, this must be, be it. 11, seven. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what up, doggy? Dude, this place is crazy. Man, we get inside this place. This is an artist's playland. I mean, the dream home to be in. 6,000 square feet of space to just do whatever the heck you want. Liba has a 3D printing machine. He has a stage. He has a half pipe. Fresh. You could just put anything in there. Band, dude. We got drums. Oh. <laughs> you might as well just paint in here, dude. This is insane. Artist studio. He has recording studios and video editing spots in his house. This is in. This is like my dream house. I'm not even freaking lying. He has this giant hammock in the middle of a room. He has a huge projector on the wall to watch movies. His bedroom was in this loft, and then in his bedroom you could go on the roof, and then there's like a barbecue pit on the roof. This is so dope. At night, dude, the whole city's lit up back there. We gotta get to business. We gotta figure out what we're painting. I have no clue what we're painting. We'll see what Liba wants to do. I said I'd rather the South Central wall and then come back tonight, and if you're feeling up to it, just throw your name down on it. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. losing time in the day that we could be painting because I'm having so much fun at his house, just running around and doing random stuff. I mean, I could spend hours in this place. We gotta get to business. All right, so pick like a Jesus composition you like and then... Uh... Okay. I think what's really cool about Liba is he's a churchgoer as well, so he wanted to paint uh, a face of Jesus. <laughs> Obviously, I'm gonna be it's down for that. Compared to 94. This is OG stuff. That's what I learned with. I see taggers down on the street, I just wanna run out with this crate and be like, here bro. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was born in the 80s, but my teenage years were in the 90s, and the 90s were a crazy time. I mean, all our music was like gangster rap, so my whole idea and concept of South Central is every movie from the 90s that I watched. I'm kinda interested, kinda stoked that we're actually gonna go paint in South Central, and also a little bit scared. In some ways, it looks and has the vibe of what I expected, but in a lot of ways, it caught me off guard. Like, I mean, it was really chill. Everybody was super nice, and people in the neighborhood were really accepting of us coming in and bringing art into the community. Dang, this doesn't work. How are we gonna buff? Yeah, that's all cool. We can use it for blood splatter later. Special effects. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Yeah, man, we come to the wall and we kind of have an idea of what we're painting, but we totally wasted a bunch of time, like having fun at the house, so we only have a few hours to paint. But you know what? To me, today is more about just hanging out with my friend and just vibing out. Boom. Boom, and then just kind of crop the top of his head off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, dude. You gonna wear a mask and gloves? I think so. You do have kids, I guess. <laughs> Liba and I have a commonality of, you know, belief in Jesus and going to church on Sunday. I think that really creates a, a cool dynamic when we paint. Like, we get to talk about those things and we get to be open in our friendship and our relationship as people. Um, so yeah, man, it's really, really awesome chilling out with that dude. Dude, 
Dang, it's that lack. Look at me, I've been painting with Montana's. Liba's style is really cool because he has a street art background, not necessarily graffiti, and he also has like does fine art. When he brings that into the graffiti world, it creates a different dynamic and element. So the way he's approaching painting the face of Jesus is totally different than how I would approach it, but it creates something really cool and interesting. I really appreciate how Liba paints. Yeah. Cool if you brought some like Why some kind of green. Yeah. With, like a little bit of like. So it was an awesome experience. He painted Jesus' face like front and center and I just kind of painted like this halo stained glass kind of design around it. This has been a good day. I want to say thank you to Smile South Central on Instagram uh, for bringing us out to South Central and beautifying South Central with murals. I think we appreciate it as artists coming in um, and hopefully the neighborhood continues to appreciate it. So thank you so much. Sick, dude. Let's go wash up. I'm down. We gotta sign it first, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always forget. Gotta sign it down? Hey, hey. Right. and camera. Do this turn out. Fresh. I wanna say thank you to Liba for being an awesome friend, awesome person. Shout out to you. And for the rest of you watching, um, please go follow Liba and support him as an artist. Check out his page, see what he's doing, keep up with him. And also if you have people you want us to come out and film, uh, hit us up, let us know. We might be in your neighborhood soon. You know, you have people ask you like, uh, where did you buy those pants at? This is funny, because you're like, dude, I made these pants. People pay like $80 for a pair of pants you can make for like $20 or something stupid.